life is too short to be serious. Ignore the background. Yes, I'm at McDonald's. It's been a great day. Yeah, sometimes you have really bad days. I had two kind of... I had a really bad day the other day. Yesterday started out pretty good, ended out really bad. So I needed a day to just go good. And so I went to read us first, and I got the pumpkin shake to review. I was no energy at all, just, you know, tired of life. And then, you know, things started to turn around. Not instantly. I had to wait at Popeye's for who knows how long, probably 20 minutes on this pie. But they gave me two. So it just made me feel... Like, they care about the customer in a way, um, you know, that they kind of just said, hey, you know, you waited longer. Here's here's a reward. So I'm going to give them a five star, even though I had that long wait. You know, time just doesn't matter to me. It really doesn't. Um, only time time kind of bothers me is when I'm inconveniencing others, which I may be inconveniencing my mom and my brother right now. So I'm trying to get through this review real quickly. But we have dinner and... Uh, Need to get there. What else made my great day? My day great? Well, I'm at McDonald's, so I'm collecting the uh, Walt Disney toys. Now I'm very close to being finished. I uh, just need to, you know, hit up the McDonald's with all of them and be like, "Hey, look, I'm so close to being done. Can you just, just help me out. Just give me that one last push." But I did get toy 13 and 15, Bo Peep and Miguel. I was very nervous about this earlier today because I was on eBay. And it looks like, you know, this this wave of toys, other people who are collecting, they've, you know, started, you know, since, since they're finishing up, it's like, oh, let's just buy the rest. So it looks like this wave of toys is, you know, starting, just starting to come out, like the th these four. And so, you know, I found two of them before getting here. And I came here and she grabbed some of them. I was like, oh, great. But then, you know, I had to walk her through it. And she was very nice. She was very helpful. Um, and I was like, I, I'm really, I'm sorry I put you through all that. But I really just wanted to get these two toys. And I got them. I got them. So we're done with that. We've got three more to get. But yeah, that's all side talk, side mess. We're done. We're going to review this pie. It's a blackberry cheesecake pie. Very interesting stuff. I don't know if I've had their blackberry cheesecake pie. I think it may be even new. But yeah i've held you up enough you, yesterday i don't think i talked about it yesterday i tried to get this and they gave me an apple pie so i was quite ticked off about that as well and i, I can't remember if that was before i think that was after yeah that was after i went to Hardy's, which i had a whole rant on that that review i don't know which would come first i think that'll come first before this but yeah so good day good praiseful talk and I did already break the pie in half just so you could get a look at the inside and we got a good thumbnail here. So, I don't know. All right, we're not gonna get anything clearer than that unless I kinda, okay. That's just me more than at that point. Anyways, simple stuff. It's their, you know, fried crust filled with blackberry filling and che cream cheese filling. So it's not really cheesecakey, I don't think. But we'll give it a try anyways. And then I'll let y'all go on your way. That sun just came out. You can see it just shining on me. I'm trying to kind of focus it in. But. Mm. It's nice and crispy. Kind of airy. I'm definitely flaky. As for the filling, um, you don't get, again, with the, the the cheesecake filling, you don't get a lot of, you know, a lot of flavor from it. You do get, like, some aspects of the cheese, but it's more like cream cheese. 
it kind of helps complement it a bit. And then the blackberry is not very bitter. It is a sweet, but not overly sweet kind of filling. That, that is enjoyable, but it's not over the top anything. Like, it's not amazing, but it's not annoying either. So, you know, there's that. Ever so slight notes of bitterness. Typically from a blackberry, I would expect, you know, high key bitterness, but it's more sweet and uh, flaky, you know, the kind of buttery kind of flavor. It's not bad. And then it's not groundbreaking. It's not amazing. It's not going to make your heart sing. But if you like Popeyes and you want to go for a chicken tender, or chicken nugget, chicken tender, chicken sandwich, and you want a sweet side to it, a sweet dessert, you know, this will complement it well. I think it definitely has these distinct hints of blackberry flavor in there. Um, and it's unique, but not in a way that makes me say I really want this again. Like, I don't love it, but I think it's all right. I think it's fair. So, for me, it's like a six. I was about to say seven, but I think it's a six. Just because there's nothing there that says wow, you know. It says, hey, I'm enjoyable, but I'm not wow factor. Like, I had Rita's today. Their milkshake, I gave it a five. Why would it be lower than this? Because adding on to that, I think this is quite enjoyable. I think, you know, if you're there, get it. With Rita's, I might, you have other options. You could go any way you want to. And I thought it was okay. This is good. It just doesn't really break any boundaries beyond that. So that's it. I probably talked about other things longer than I talked about this. But I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this review, as short and weird as it may have been. And yeah, I apologize for the sun. Maybe you liked it, maybe you didn't like the sun. But other than that, before the sun goes down, I'm going to wrap this up. So, with that said, I will see y'all around. Yeet!